Oh yeah, dad hugs. Ooh, are you the human that lives at the top of the town? Ah, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? Huh? That sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Shit, okay. Yeah, Chris, you survived Susie. <laughs> eh, I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but uh, be careful. Like, one time, me, Snowy, and Jockington were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just, uh, froze solid, and kicked the ball as hard as she could, right into Officer Undyne's car. Then, Undyne came out, smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us at handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. Haha. <laughs> no, she doesn't, she's cool as fuck. You guys are lame. Oh, you're lucky, Chris. You got to miss class with Alphys. It's not fair. <laughs> if I skipped class, my dad would never let me hear the end of it. <laughs> That's actually not even remotely funny. Oi, Snowy. What did I tell you about knocking the door so hard? Don't. Do. It. It's really gonna hurt your face. We don't have arms, you know. Uh. Oh, oh. Uh, you're okay. I was uh, really worried when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm the cool teacher, you know? You're not in trouble. Uh, well, let me know if you need anything. There's a saucer of milk. It's a trash can full of milk and flowers. It's a dirty trash can. Saucer. Oh, the saucer of milk. It's for my kitty, Mew Mew. She's a perfect angel. Uh, what, what does she look like? Well, 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 I've never actually seen her, but, but ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So I, I'd like to think that there's a cat. Uh, my cat. You have flowers. Uh, oh, these flowers, they're, they're from your dad. He, he always asks how you're doing at school, and he gives me a bouquet of them. A actually, that always gives me flowers. It really makes me wonder if he, if he likes, if, if he likes the awesome comics I lent to him. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero crest. He's huge and can kick my ass. Alright, weird. This guy can keep real fast. Hey, my boy Sands. QC's diner. Hey there. I haven't seen you in a while, huh? I remember back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happened, and then y'all stopped coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother would still come in. He ordered you a hot chocolate, and you two'd sit down at that table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. <laughs> you must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? Chris got the hot chocolate. On my hands, huh? Fucking dope. Look at my rugged body. You must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. The secret is, I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. Oh shit, I didn't even notice his fucking hat. <laughs> Hello. Ice Wolf does not like ice to drink. Ice Wolf likes ice. To be drink. So, for you two girls, that'll be the crepes, a cinnamon latte, two bunny buffets, and a piece of firewood. I can't tell who the fuck's actually talking there, but... You're alive. Nice. I'm working. Alright. Ice me up, ice me up, boss. Ice ease pizza. The entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all the employees are outside in the coast. Would you be interested in trying some of our mini 24 pizza flavors? We've got normal, cheese, ice, gravy, double ice, pepperonis, and more. Stop on down on Icy's Pizza. No, oh, God, someone's actually here. Uh, Icy's Pizza, your number one spot for piping hot peas of pizza. Hey, hey, wait a second. I recognize you.
Little buddy, it's me. Wanna chat for a minute before I lose my mind? Ah, it's Burger Pants. Uh, how's the job going? Make no mistake, little buddy. Ice E's pizza is hell. I can't slack off for seconds without hearing BNC player. There's no I in pizza. Yes, there is. You just took it out. But it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up to go to college where Azzy is. Then I'll get a theater degree, become a famous actor, and let the fangirls roll in, little buddy. Do you know when Azzy's coming home? You, you can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. I'd be sweet to cruise around town like old times. Picking up, for example, chicks. Which, as a matter of course, may not have ever actually happened. But, but one time, one time, I got tired of me. Well, she was waiting a speeding ticket. Yeah, yes, little buddy, good idea. Read the rags gallery. Blue airs, soft serve, obsessed, no concept of personal space. Keep sex still, the poor slushes on me and giggling. The warrior, thankfully absent due to pizza related injuries. Constant terrorizing the customers with war chants. Purple guy, man, that guy, you gotta. Actually, does that guy even work here? Ah, my co workers, where would I be without them? A happy place, little buddy. Much happier place. I love all the references. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris, I like a long time to say. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Uh, your neighbor? Oh, that check next door drives me nuts. I can't see her everywhere. I guess she's a total copycat. Like, why though? Doesn't she realize she'll never be me? Honestly, her whole family is like so trashy. Once her sister served me a coffee, and I swear it was half cat for her. Like, get a hair night, girl, for like your whole body. Go away. Memories? Remember that time you wanted to hang out with us big cans? I was like, yeah, of course, just get us some burgers. Then, like, amazingly, you actually got them. So I told you to go back and get some french fries, too. Then a dozen miniature cakes. They were so good. I ate, like, six. And I, like, suddenly got so sick, I had to go home. Man. So, like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? That's the bloop. I'm afraid there's no one right home right now. Now why don't you go prance on home? Watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy, how can I? Oh, Chris. Aw, oh, yeah, dad hugs. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well, now, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. It's a cash register. There's not much change inside. Yeah, it's a flower. Oh yeah, big yellow flower, huh? Makes sense. Say, that sounds thick. Comes when Nazriel comes home. We get all go to the diner, just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound yummy? Yeah, sure does. Then we could all drive. A nice driver. I might need to clean up my truck, but then we could all have a nice Oh. Upstairs. Oh my god, all the flowers. It's a purple flower, protected in a container. Uh huh. It's a golden flower, protected in a container. Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. It's a rusty fridge with some photos on it. Oh, Chris, you're hungry. Help yourself to anything you want. Seafood. Photo of your mother and father on their wedding day. She's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. A reindeer-looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. They all look happy. It's a small TV. On top are some superhero comics. There are some dirty furs stuck in the drain. It's a door. It's locked. Oh, well, bye, Dad. Oh, Chris, wait before you go. Secret. You got the bouquet of flowers. Have a great day, Chris. 
Flower King, haha, <laughs> because it was gay. It's your dad's truck. The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. Ew, country. Come on, Dad, you can do better than that. Oh, hey, these guys. Nothing better than hanging up the lake with my best bro. Watch the waves go by. True. Hey, neighbor, baby. When's your brother Doug gonna come by? <laughs> my girls love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? Don't you like frozen cat food? <laughs> well, Chrissy, like, what's up? Give Aunt Katty a hug. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> I'm not even actually your aunt. <laughs> oh my god, can I talk to you about something? Actually, like, anything about your choice? Um, uh, what about your, uh, neighbors? Like, that green girl next door? Oh my god, Chrissy, she's like my life villain. Like, the other day, I went to see Cat Petters 2, and the only other person in the theater was her. Then I went to QC's and ordered a cappuccino, and she, like, was already drinking one. She's such a copycat. Uh, copygator. Copy Saras? Cop and die. I don't know, she sucks. Uh, uh, as. <laughs> oh my god, Asriel, like, what a giddy pie. Do you remember when me and him went to the dance? I was like, the best name ever. Even though I spelled the entire punch ball all over him and danced incorporately in front of your mom and got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. <laughs> that was so much fun. They always said hi. Ooh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We, like, totally can't connect at all. Yesterday, I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no, and then she, like, told me my playing is an anti-blessing from Planet Hell. What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love my freaked up little sass. God, I hate that I know people like that. Oh, Chris, like, if you want to come in, our cat lab is, like, always open to you. Okay, well, then why can't I go in? Oh, hey, Noel. <laughs> oh, hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework? I thought you were having trouble this time, so uh, I actually have a few things ready for you in case. Oh, uh, wait, sorry, I, I can't right now. I've got my house key again, and... Sorry, Chris. Oh, I'll help you later if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Uh, um, Chris, did you want to talk about something? Uh, key? Huh? I don't want to ask my mom for the key. I, I mean, um, I, uh, you know, she doesn't want to really bother her when she's working. Don't worry, okay? I'll just go over to Caddy's. Susie, that's right. You were with Susie when you didn't get back to class. I was worried, but everything turned out okay, I think. Um, Chris, can I ask you something? If that's okay. Susie, I'm kind of curious. What's she like, you know? I mean, who doesn't want her about her? She never to anyone, so I can ask, could you tell me about her, if that's okay? She's nice. What? She's a nice person? Really? But, like, really? Honestly? Truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... but wait, this is another track, is it, Chris? Like, when you put ketchup on your arms and told me I was blind. But really? You're serious? You're totally serious. Gosh, I you should be talking to her. But, but if I die, you're gonna pay for my funeral, Chris. Honestly, if she learns, I might die too. Oh, Noelle's got a thing for grit, for, uh, Susie. Anything? Chris, are you going for it? Normally, I'm not so top either. I didn't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Um, Chris, is something wrong? You go to the hospital to see my dad. I mean, I'm sure he appreciated it, but, um, gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. I forgot I said anything. I'm just exploring. Yeah, man, just explore. Anyway, now I'm gonna go all the way back down. And we're gonna go investigate. This looks like it's like the tunnel to the fucking ruins. It almost looks like that. It's locked. Oh, well, fuck. Of course it's locked. Sometimes that's gonna be important in the later chapters, anyway.
Alright, so let's go home. Oh. My am. Welcome home, honey. <clears throat> Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it will be cool when you wake. But do not eat it all this time, alright? Chris, what is it, honey? Uh... Me. Chris, honey, you have grown up so much. Someday soon you will be going out to university as well. Uh, remember when you were little? You asked me when your horns were going to grow in. So we bought that headband with the little red horns on it. Oh, you wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? Put it in my butt. Remember that video game you and Ezreal used to play? Undertale? What was it called? Super Smash- Oh, Super Smash Bros. When he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. The green lizard. The green lizard. The green lizard. I mean, now in Ultimate, we got K. Rule, but... I'm- I don't- I don't, I don't think any, but the earlier versions they have no K rule, so really, they must, I mean, must be talking about K rule. We even had a birthday party and named around it. Your father painted all these eggs with spots as decorations. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since, he's hated that book about eating green eggs. Here's some flowers. Oh, Chris, flowers for your mother. How oh, sweet. These are from him, are they not? Uh, um, why not, Chris? I will find some place for them. Yeah, it's a landline. Bye. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's still cooling. Put it in my butt. Apparently I can't use the bathroom now? Okay, there we go. Ah, fuck it. Jesus. Yeah, that's my room. The door is locked. God damn it. There's yeah, a computer desk. There are many boxes on here full of full books. I think we already knew. Alright. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. Will you go to bed? Yep. You decided to go to bed. Right on. Oh. Was he jerking off under the sheets or something? <laughs> Jesus. Came with such force and knocked him out of bed. Uh. What the fuck? Oh, that's how, uh. The fucking. What the fuck's his name? The king. That's how the king moved. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck was that shit? Why did that shit just happen? The light is running low and the shadows start to grow and the places that you know seem like fantasy. There's a light inside your soul that's still shining in the cold with the truth. The promise in our hearts Don't forget I'm with you in the dark To be continued in chapter 2, of course That's how these episodic things work But, um, what the fuck? 
dude rips his fucking soul out of his chest. Dude. Yep, dude straight up rips his heart out of his chest, his soul, throws it in a cage, and pulls out a knife. The fuck was that shit? I... I I don't know. And now they give you multiple save files. Neat. Oh my god, I don't even know what to think right now. I, I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, everything was seemingly all hunky-dory up to that point, you know? We did it. We beat the fucking bad guy. We beat the evil king. Yo. We did it. We saved the day. We made friends. We came home. Yo, we found all the little easter eggs to all the previous characters. Everything was going great. Everything was going wonderful. Then out of nowhere, he gets fucking possessed, rips his heart out, throws it in a cage, and pulls out a knife. Out of fucking nowhere. Like, had I been doing, like, a genocide run, that, that, that would have made, like, a bit more sense. Just saying, would've, that would have made a little more sense. I would have been a little more understanding of that. But, um, I, I was pacifist the whole time. I didn't attack once. And he ripped out his fucking heart, threw it in a cage, and pulled out a knife. His eyes glowed red. Um, the fuck? I, regardless, it was fun. I won't lie. I like the little new approach to the game. I like it. I like the I like the new art, the new art style, and all that. Everything. I like this border. How he, they have a border on the screen now, where before it was just you know you had the screen and then there were the black rectangles on the edges and whatnot. Now you got an actual border to it, which looks kind of which looks pretty fucking cool. Not gonna lie. I mean, it's fun. It's exactly what you would expect from an Undertale sequel slash prequel slash whatever the fuck this is. Um. Wow, I just, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I mean, fuck. I won't lie, they got me. That fucking ending, you know. It got me hooked to see what, what fucking comes next. I, I'm ready for chapter two. I'm ready for it. Whenever the fuck it drops, I'm ready for it because after that, I need, I, I need to know what happens now. I need to know why the fuck that happened. That's, that's what I need. I need some answers. I need to know why that happened. I'm, I'm still having trouble processing what just happened, but I need to know why what just happened happened. But regardless, this is the end of Deltrune Chapter One. Now we gotta wait for Chapter. Now I gotta wait for Chapter Two to get released, and then I gotta wait for it to get ported to console because my computer doesn't fucking record shit because it's a piece of shit. But regardless, thank you guys for watching this playthrough. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever the fuck it is I make. Bye bye. Yeah.